guys, Deepin here, and today we have another Kotobukuya unboxing. It is the Hawkeye Kate Bishop Bishoujo statue. So I didn't expect to love the design of this so much. It's not like it's one of like the top tier Marvel femme fatales female bombshells or whatever. It's, it's Kate Bishop, okay? But the master, Shunya Yamashita, designed this this illustration of, of, of Kate Bishop in her like, her face, like everything about this design, it's, it, it makes my heart go doki doki. I, I love it. So when it first was announced that they were gonna have a Hawkeye Kate Bishop Bishoujo, I was like, this is a big pass. But like, I looked at it, I'm like, oh my God, she's freaking adorable. So I was really looking forward to this. This is probably one of my favorite Bishoujo designs and I haven't even opened this up yet. So let's go ahead and talk about the statue, then we'll talk about the box, and then we'll go ahead and unbox it and show you guys the details. The Marvel Universe Hawkeye Kate Bishop Bishoujo is a 1-7 scale figurine that is made of PVC and ABS plastic. It's currently retailing at $144.99. So it's probably the most expensive Marvel Bishoujo statue in terms of retail value. And we're gonna go over some details why that is. The statue stands 250 millimeters tall. It released back in November of 2022. It is sculpted by Takaboku Bushijima or Bushiji Max as his alias goes. And of course the design is inspired by Shunya Yamashita's illustration of Kate Bishop. All right, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and check out the details of the box. So. Like I said, the design right here on the side of the box. I mean, look at Kate Bishop. Like, I, I am a sucker for like cute anime girls and this is like adorable. Like her surprised face. I saw the design. I was completely like arrow in the heart. Like, like falling in love. Kiss, kiss, fall in love. Yeah, she's cute. Also, I have a thing with brunettes with bangs. So that, that's a thing. See her design here. Also, she's here with Lucky the pizza dog. If you've seen the Hawkeye Disney Plus show, then you're probably familiar with the dog. Over here on the bottom says Hawkeye Kate Bishop. Bishoujo logo over here on the top here. It says Marvel Bishoujo statue, the Marvel logo, and then the Kotobukuya logo up here. On the top, we also have Kate Bishop, the illustration right there on the corner. You have more text of Hawkeye and some more logos. On this side, you have the full illustration of Kate Bishop right there with Lucky, the pizza dog. On this side, you have another window showing the side of the statue. Shunya Yamashita's illustration right here. And on the back, we have the statue itself, the full statue, some text up here. You have the illustration right there, and you have some information about the character. Bottom, you have some legal stuff. And yeah, that's about it with the box. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm pretty excited for this one. You know, as much as Shunya Yamashita's artwork is like some of the best anime type artwork I've seen when it comes to waifus and all that. I will say some of the figurines, like the sculpt, aren't as close to the artwork as possible. And that's what you want, right? Shunya Yamashita has amazing art style, right? And you know, it's really hard to completely mimic the exact same style, but this statue is almost exactly like the Shunya Yamashita artwork. So th th this is what, this is why I like this statue so much. And as we pull this out, there's actually two figurines. So obviously you have uh, Lucky, the dog, and then you also have Kate Bishop. This is probably why it's $144. Most Marvel Bishoujo statues are like 120, 110, you know, and this is like an extra 30 bucks, probably because of the extra dog. And before we toss the box to the side over there, you can see the inside of it, just this nice purple anime action effect thing going on, so. Let's continue. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with Kate Bishop and then we'll go to the dog. So you're gonna wanna open the plastic encasing like this, okay? You don't wanna open it up sideways like this because the statue could fall and destroy itself. You don't want that. Do not shatter or break your statues. I don't want you spending over $100 on these things just to break them. Don't do it. Open your statues like that. All right, guys? All right, let's go take her out and let's go talk about Kate Bishop. Okay, so we're gonna take out all these little plastic parts over here and all right all right so let's go zoom in and talk about Kate so here you go here is Kate missing crap she's missing her hand uh and her hand is right there so we're just gonna attach this so wiggle it in all right so let's start with Kate Bishop's face oh my god that's her face is so adorably cute this 
this is why I'm in love with this statue so much. Her face is just, I, I just can't like not fall in love with it. Look at her eyes. Her eyes, super round, super just in shock. I love it. Her mouth, just as wide as her eyes. Her staring into my soul, it's so cute. And you can see her bangs. She has like kind of like Hime cuts. The bangs are very, very well sculpted. You see a bunch of individual strands. That's really, really nice. So all the individual strands of her bangs here. Her eyebrows underneath, very thin. She has some nice uh, eyeliner and some mascara it looks like to bring out her eyes. You got the purple headband over here. And then her hair follows through the back. I really like the details of the hair. Sometimes the hair gets a little blotched, right? There's like really large clumps of strands. But here, there's a lot of lines into the sculpt and mold. So there's... A lot of definition, a lot of details on the hair. I really appreciate this. There's also a nice strand of hair coming over here to the side as well as coming to the front. So you can tell she's kind of in action. Her hair is just kind of like flowing into the wind. She's running. She's obviously going to be holding the dog. So that's why she's trying to catch up with the dog. Her hands come with these leather gloves. And what's great about it is you can actually see the details into the gloves there. The gloves, you can see the wrinkles of the leather. You can see that also following through with like the arm guard right there. And that's pretty nice because I'm assuming this arm guard is more of an archery thing. I don't do archery, so I can't really tell you if that's true or not. Oh, there's a little plastic I missed right there. Plastic was covering this little bit of hair right there, I guess to prevent it from like snapping or scratching. You see all the arrows in this arrow pouch right there behind her back, underneath the hair. I really like how it's just kind of like in between the strands of hair flying away. Pretty nice details right there. The arrow's quivers are purple as well as the bow to match her outfit. And then her right arm is bare. There's no sleeve unlike her left arm. So her glove on the right hand, also similar to her glove on the left hand. You can see it, nice matte finish on the leather. A bit glossy, but not too much. It's kind of like worn down. You can see the details of the mold there. She's holding the, I don't know what to call this thing, the little collar leash thingy to hold on to the dog. So that's there, also purple to match her outfit. And then let's talk about her outfit and her body. Her chest, pretty nice. I, I think her chest is like the right size, you know, not too big, not too small. They didn't over-sexualize her chest. As you can see with the outfit though, her skin tight outfit, so tight that you can see her belly button kind of coming out right there. And then you see this belt that kind of goes around her waist. I don't know how she gets it on because I don't see any like, you know, uh, attachments or like I don't see any like buckle. Whatever, it's, it's a cool design. You can see the wrinkles of her jumpsuit right here. You can see it right there. You can see the painting of the jumpsuit as well. They highlight a lot of the shading with darker colors. So obviously to bring out the chest and to bring out the curves of the belly button, her abs, and also her back and her butt area. They didn't really do some shading on the edges here to like def uh, show some more definition of all of her curves. The back is very defined here as you can see. And then you have these little wrinkles over cl the cloth. She has these open circles to show off some, some of her thigh here. Not very efficient and practical when it comes to battle, but hey, she looks hot. So that's the point. And then you can see her nice well-toned Thighs. She has this little pouch here on her right thigh and then you got her boots her boots very generic boots You could see some weathering and some wrinkles on the leather boots there the black laces And then there's like a little cuff very 90s comic booky and she's doing this running stance So that is Kate Bishop in a nutshell very nice figurine overall i think she's just she's just hot like I, I i like my girls a little more covered as much as i love sex appeal and skin i i prefer my wife is to be a little more conserved like this sure she has a little skin there you know what i mean shoulding a little shoulder but overall this is a pretty conserved outfit and um i like it so up next we're gonna talk about lucky the pizza dog so we're just gonna open this up here so we're just gonna go ahead and take lucky out here so the, <laughs> the details on this is not as great as Kate's and that's fine. We're, we're here to buy Kate's, I guess most of us, right? Let's zoom in for a second. We're gonna quickly talk about Lucky. So Lucky obviously missing an eye, but one right eye right there, wide and open. You can see the 
details of his fur, lots of hair. Uh, you can see the tail over here. She's a white patch butt. And you can see the paws. Looks pretty realistic, I think. A lot less cartoony. The pizza here, you can see it, kind of the cheese running down the pizza. And I don't know if that's like pepperoni or ham or tomatoes or whatever. You can see some bell peppers and olives. Anyway, and then you can see her paws. She's kind of in a running position because obviously she's trying to pull Kate Bishop away. And then you see the collar right there. And then on the collar, you have this like golden pendant or whatever. I don't know what you call this thing on the collar. Like, a yeah, I guess a pendant or an amulet. I don't know. But it's kind of like Hawkeye's like logo. So that's kind of cool, actually. And then, yeah. I don't know, pretty nice coloring. It's not like a plain orange or brown paint job. It's, you can kind of see it weathered a little bit. There's some like shading over here, a little darker brown, darker browns over here, and then you got the whites on the bottom. Pretty nice overall, pretty nice overall. All right, and then we just got to put this together. So there's two little holes right here, which is where we put the dog feet, and we also put the leash wire in here. So we're gonna go ahead and do both, okay? All right, and there you go. Kate Bishop walking her dog. Very awesome. This is a very unique figurine. Usually they don't have like another small figurine with it, unless it's like the Kotobukuya, like My Little Pony statues where you get the pony and like the waifu. But this case, pretty awesome. I, I, I honest, honestly think this is probably like my favorite Bishoujo statue in the Marvel series. I just, I honestly think the Kate Bishop statue and design is so cute. I can't help but smile when I see her face. She looks so dorky and adorable. I love it. And I love her bangs. I love everything about this. This is my type of anime waifu right here, okay? This is this. Any other characters that look like this, I'm like, that's, 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 that's me. And then of course the dog's fine. The dog's, it has a little extra flair to it. So I like it overall. Yeah. So pretty cool statue. I think the only thing I don't like about the Cape Bishop Bishoujo is just the base. The base is like super boring and plain, you know, is, I mean, they could do a little, little something. I, I mean, I, I complain about the base a lot when it comes to these things, but we don't buy these for the base. I just think it's a little extra. Could be nice to add a little something something to the base, but at the end of the day, doesn't ruin the whole thing for me. I like it a lot. I definitely give this probably a 10 out of 10. This is my first 10 out of 10 Bishoujo rating I've ever done because I just I just think she's perfect. She's so, look, look, look at her, dude. She's so cute. So what do you guys think of the Kate Bishop and Lucky the Pizza Dog statue from uh, Kyoto Kota Bukuya? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This, do you think this is the greatest Marvel Bishoujo ever made? Or like, or do you completely disagree with me? Because I, I get it. Kate Bishop, like who the F is Kate Bishop? If you ask a normal comic book, like casual reader who this person is, they probably think it's like this Bishop. They're not gonna think it's this. They're not gonna think Kate Bishop, right? They're not gonna think that at all. But I personally think so, right? All my biases aside, she's not my favorite character. I don't care about Kate Bishop. I don't care about Hawkeye. They're kind of whatevers, but I love this design. It's 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 great. Do I think it's worth 144 bucks? I mean, I have money, so like, I, I think it's fine. If you're on a tight budget, like maybe not, maybe this might be not, unless, unless you're a big Kate Bishop fan or you love this design, which you should look at her, I think you should get it. Like 150 bucks, you know? I mean, don't buy boba or Starbucks coffee for a couple of weeks and bam, save up to get this. There you go. But yeah, that'll be it for my Kate Bishop Bishoujo unboxing. Drop a like if you enjoyed this content and please subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers so I get another silver plaque on my wall. And yeah, until next time, peace out guys. Ready?